business friend leaders of health products distributors and another creating health naturally video and today I'm introducing you to a product known as restore now in the health products distributors HPDI supplement system there are six foundational supplements and um, the first four are like a multivitamin uh, antioxidant vitamin C formula uh, essential fatty acids and um, a high RNA superfood now we have two other foundational supplements we call them secondary those are the primary the first four the secondary one starts with a gut health formula and then the second of the of the secondaries is um, hydrogen supplements but today I'm focusing on gut health formulas now I'm focusing today on one in particular known as restore we have several gut health products now historically in the gut health category the products that we carry are probiotics in the early years they would be like a lactobacillus type based um, product and more recently we carry soil based organisms but one of the products that we really like to emphasize more perhaps than probiotics depending on your needs is a product known as restore let me show it to you let me tell you a little bit about what restore is restore is a gut health product that is designed to um, restore gut health by improving um, gut function and thereby creating um, an environment in which um, there can be greater biodiversity in terms of the organisms um, the, that the gut contains. Um, so um, it's called Restore for a reason and the way it works actually is, is, is it increases the integrity of the tight junctions. I mean, I'm not gonna go into too much of the science here, but you have a membrane, a mega membrane that runs from say your nasal cavity um, all the way down to your intestines. And this is a membrane that's designed to keep certain things out. We've had it for <laughs> millions of years uh, and we need it so that um, we can take nutrients from our foods but that the body can block or keep out things that it doesn't want getting into our bloodstream and so um so tight junctions are really important so why would you need to increase the integrity of your tight junctions well it turns out that in this modern age um, there are a variety of factors that create problems with tight junction integrity well, one of the biggies right now is the um, the herbicide glyphosate, which is the one of the primary ingredients in the uh, the Roundup product that is sprayed on virtually everything. It's in the rain. It's it it, it blows, so even it gets onto even organic foods, um, and it's it's pervasive and it has been for uh, quite some time. When you uh, consume glyphosate one of the things it does is it opens your tight junctions now you have these are like it's like a cell membrane right so your food comes in and um, then your body begins digesting it and certain things are let in well when you have a, a large amount of glyphosate or maybe even not such a large amount what happens is your tight junctions open and if for example and it would let in say undigested proteins it would let in chemicals um, it could let in a lot of things that then start driving your immune system crazy your immune system says wait that's not supposed to be in here it mobilizes um, the immune system to fight the attacker creating inflammation there's actually a lot more information about this on the restore for life website dr. Zach Bush it's uh, his company known as biomic sciences he developed this product and we are really happy with it and we saw a fair amount of it and it's one of our gut health formulas. Now to return to the topic of these, these tight junctions, so what does Restore do for the tight junctions? Well, when you take Restore, it tightens the tight junctions. The tight junctions uh, can, can, are given the ability to close up. Um, and if the area, if, if you're regularly consuming um, Restore, then your tight junctions will not open up as often or as frequently or as, 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 as much or maybe at all depending on you know who you are 
Um, other things in our environment that tend to create problems with our tight junctions, one is, is gluten um, uh, from wheat um, and other um, grains. Now, every, people talk a lot about grains. There's a lot of talk, uh, <laughs> a lot written about gluten and gluten-free diets, and I'm not going to go into the details there. But one of the means, one of the ways that gluten harms the body is that it opens tight junctions, not unlike the glyphosate and Roundup. And there are other things that do this as well. An additional factor um, that I'll just go rolling right into here is the use and overuse of antibiotics, whether it's antibiotics consumed through um, meats in animals or antibiotics that you've been uh, given over the years. Um, these are problematic for your microbiome. So let me talk a little bit more about, about the microbiome. Um, so it, once upon a time, uh, not all that long ago, but they could, they've done the research on this, the, most people have between 20,000 and 30,000 different types of bacterial organisms, different types of flora in their gut. This helps us. We need these organisms. <laughs> they do a lot of things for us, from making B vitamins to helping our immunity, but they're part of our microbiome, and their biomass is greater than our own. And we've been with them, and they've been with us for a long time. This is the short version of, <laughs> of the whole massive topic of microbiome. Now, when you consume um, herbicides like glyphosate, and when you consume tight junction openers like gluten, and when you take a lot of antibiotics, um, it has a very adverse effect on your microbiome, on your, on your, on your flora in your intestines. Um, in the case of glyphosate, it's opening up, it's opening up those tight junk junctions, and things are getting in, it's mobilizing the immunity, and things are, and it's things, it's just disrupting ba the balance. With antibiotics, say in in meats um, and in in antibiotics that you may have gotten from um, the doctor's office over the years, those just go in. It's that's more obvious wiping out of bacteria to the point where now you know people, most people know, you know, if you're going to have a round of antibiotics or if you're eating antibiotic laced foods, you know, you take a probiotic, and that's why we carry probiotics. But this is a little different. So what we see is that when the tight junctions are restored, the, an environment begins to be created where these organisms can repopulate. And on, one of the ways they do this is through improved communications. So restore not only closes tight junctions, which is very important, but it has a way of improving the communication system among the different types of organisms in, in the gut. That's a slightly different mode of operation, and so you have, you have, this operates on several different levels. And when you have better communication between the organisms in the gut, because there are communications chemicals that are between, that are within a species of, of, of organism, but there's another form of um, communication, chemical form, that is, that is interspecies. And so uh, Restore seems to help both of those mechanisms. And so, for example, let's say that your microbiome is depleted and you're down to 5,000 or less different types of organisms, but then you are exposed to some other ones or you ingest some other ones, you're, somehow you get them. Well, maybe there's not enough of them in the current environment to thrive. But when you have Restore and your tight junctions are closed and the communication systems are working, that nurtures this, this population of other bacteria that was probably in one of your ancient ancestors' intestines, but, or maybe not so ancient ancestors, but hasn't been able to thrive in yours because of dysbiosis or failure to have tight junction integrity. Um, or antibiotic usage, or overconsumption of gluten. In any event, the, um, it supports microbiome health. And so I just wanted to give a little demonstration here. But before I do, it's a liquid. This is the 32 ounce. I like the 32 ounce. It's highly cost effective. And this is the 8 ounce bottle. This is really handy dandy for travel. Um, it's, it's easier to keep out on a kitchen counter for a day. <laughs> Um, now, um, the product is actually a lignite extract. It's a stabilized lignite extract. 
And on the label actually says aqueous humic substances. That's the um, that's the primary ingredient. It's actually trademarked under the name terahydrite. So there's a process for getting this um, lignite extract stabilized and created so that it can be bottled, so that you and I can benefit from this. Um, at any rate, so the, the standard dosage, they say, is um, one teaspoon, which is five milliliters, um, three times a day. So I've been taking this for quite some time now, um, maybe longer than a year. And when I first started, I would take um, one teaspoon a day. And then I increased that to, say, three teaspoons a day, as is on the bottle. And now I can take much larger quantities. I can take, a, like, a tablespoon a day, or I can take multiple tablespoons a day, depending on the day. Some days I'll only take a teaspoon or two. What I like to do is um, put it in water, but it can be taken straight from a, um, a teaspoon. So here's my two-ounce glass of water. And... The nice thing about the smaller bottle is it's a squeeze bottle, so you pop it open and you can just squeeze this right into your into your um, your teaspoon or tablespoon measure. This one, I just fill up the little bottle with it most of the time because it, it's kind of a large spout and it's hard to measure and you don't really want to be drinking out of it and wasting it if you, if you can't control your pour. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, here's my teaspoon measure. I like to shake the bottle. It's, I think I think that's what's in the instructions. I fill up my teaspoon with Restore. You can see it's uh, it's mostly clear. It's slightly um, brownish, as you might expect from a lignite extract. And then I'm just going to put it into my two ounce glass of water, like that. And I'm going to give it a little stir. And then I'm just going to drink it. Voila. Now, it doesn't really have much of a taste. You know, it's, these are, these are, um, you know, it's supposed to be a lignite extract, but really, it has virtually no flavor. Um, which means it can be added to a lot of things. I'll put this in a smoothie. Um, I'll put this in juice. Um, I'll take it in kombucha. <laughs> you know, um, you can do it in a lot of different ways if you don't want to just take it straight. Um, that may be more pleasing to you. Now there are some um, there are some minerals in here, mostly kind of like amino acid mineral. I don't know if they're chelates, um, but there's some minerals in here and some and some amino acids. And some and a lot of these minerals are trace minerals like uh, zinc, gold, magnesium. Very small amounts, just so that you know what's in it. Now, what have I noticed with this product? Well. I probably didn't have major gut issues personally, but I do feel better taking this product. Um, interestingly enough, my head feels clearer. Um, you know, there's um, although there's a, a, a gut brain membrane, um, with, with our, which is you know the tight junction, the mega membrane running from maybe the nasal passages all the way down to the gut. There is a blood brain barrier, and my feeling is, and I can't prove this, um, you know, that this product likely is improving my blood-brain barrier, making giving it greater integrity. Um, now, I've spoken to many people, and, um, you know, I've had um, friends, and I've also heard through other people who've, who I've spoken to, who I've recommended it to, uh, and they've said their friends with dysbiosis were a little bit amazed because just um, taking this for a very short period of time gives you it, it acts quickly and rapidly and you can get um, major results in how you feel in how your um, your microbiome is working um, you know we are a gut brain axis right and it's sort of all related and so if something's helping our gut and it's doing it quickly and it's, it's sealing up those tight junctions virtually immediately then it's probably going to have um, noticeable effects on our on our brain function on our gut function and everything in between, you know, and just imagine, let's say you're, you're gluten sensitive and you get some gluten and you may not even know you're gluten sensitive or you, you end up eating some glyphosate on something that you didn't even know it was on there and now your tight junctions are opening up and now your stuff is getting into your bloodstream and your immune system's acting up, you know, it's, 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 it's working. <laughs> and maybe <laughs> false alarm in some sense of the word. Um, but, um, now you take some of this 
and you know your immune system can calm down because it's not overreacting to just food. Um, and so um, that's one example of how this can work quickly and you could find yourself exposed multiple times a day and now you take this in the morning and again, you know, in the afternoon, maybe before you have some food that might have gluten in it or before you eat something that's not 100% organic and your, blo your tight junctions are strengthening and it's a pretty much immediate and you get the benefit of that um, right away. So this has been Fred Lears with another Creating Health Naturally video. If you like this video, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or at least give it a like. Um, and for further information on Restore, if you want to read about it, you can op also obviously order it on our website. We sell a lot of it. We carry it. We have other gut health products. We have a hundred products overall and it's it all part of a, a system of supplements. But if you really want to learn more about um, Restore in particular, um, Dr. Zach Bush probably has a hundred YouTube videos. Um, you can look on YouTube or you can just go to Restore for Life. They have a, also have a blog there and you can read and learn more about it. And I'm sure that as you read and learn and watch videos on this, you'll see why it's one of our foundational supplements. This has been Fred Lears with another Creating Health Naturally video. We'll see you next time.